examples of vector spaces. Uh, first, I'm going to give you some canonical examples, the examples you should know very well. They appear very often in the yellow book. The first canonical example is the space which we call Rn. And if I want to be very exact, if I want to be uh, very close to my previous slide where we discussed with you quadruples as a vector space, I have to specify explicitly this quadruple which is attached, to, which is hidden by the symbol Rn. There is a special quadruple, and here it is. So as a set V, we use the Rn, which is the collection of all n tuples, like this. So when n is 2, when n is 1, it's the one, one element. When n is 2, it's a couple of elements. When n is 3, it's a triple of elements. When n is 4, it's a quadruple of elements, and so on. For when n is n, it's n tuple of elements. Each individual entry in this n-tuple is a real number. So this thing is called n-tuple. This thing is called n-tuple. Now, operations here, they are defined like this. If you have two n-tuples, one of them is x. You see, I use my, again, vector notation. And that's the actual element representing that. And if I have another n-tuple, which I call y, again with the same elements like this, operation plus for this quadruple is defined like this. Sum of two vectors, and it's the per component addition, x1 plus y1, x2 plus y2. You do it for every other component all the way until the nth component, and you scale, and you scale again in a per component way. When lambda is a real number. So every time, every time in the yellow book, you see this one, this symbol, in the context of the vector space, in your heads, in your heads, you should make this expansion like this into this quadruple. You think it's easy? There are a few catches in the yellow book. In your tutorials, you will see those. If, I mean, there are a few catches if you will not do that. If you will not associate with this symbol, this quadruple, you may end up in the, in the wrong answer, with the wrong answer. At, and that's a canonical notation for this vector space. Similar vector space, similar vector, the second canonical example, it's a space which is called CN. It is almost identical in, in, in the construction to this example, but this time, across the whole, the whole construction, we use the complex numbers rather than the real numbers. Here it is. So every time you see this symbol in the yellow book, you do the following expansion. You think of the following quadruple, Cn for the set of vectors, plus and dot I will define in a second. Uh, the field of scalars is, compli uh, is complex numbers. Cn, this Cn. It's again n tuples, but this time these are the n tuples of complex entries. You see? Compare this C with this R. Addition and multiplication, it, it is defined identically. Identically defined. Here we go. If I have vector Z with component Z1, Z2, Zn. And if I have vector W with components W1, W2, Wn, when I add these two, by definition, I just take the sum of the first component in the first place, sum of the second component in the second place, sum of the nth components in the nth place. And similar idea works for the scaling. Scaling of the first component, scaling of the second component, scaling of the nth component. If you I mean, if you've never seen this notation before, colon next to the next to the equal sign, this is something I very often use to say equal by definition. So this is actually a defining formula which defines the object on the left hand side. Or define the thing on the left hand side. It's a, it's a typical, it's not my invention, it's a notation which is used in books and other resources very often. So here's your two canonical examples. Every time you see this symbol in the yellow book, or this symbol in the yellow book, in the context of the vector spaces, here's the expansion you should think of immediately. 
And like I said, there are just this morning in the tutorial in the in the in the other class in the one one in one two four one, there was a catch where like almost everyone was caught because they didn't do that expansion. They discussed these things also a little bit.